Hello, Michelle here for Wounds of Sheet, Paper Crafts, etc. How are you today? I hope you are having a lovely day. Today I am going to make for you a detachable ornament card. So basically this little mantle piece with stocking comes off. And how that happens is that there is a one and a half inch circle that's a non-stick backing and a piece of foam tape. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it just sticks back onto the center. So your recipient can take it off and hang it on their tree. So let's get started. Excuse me for a minute. I'm going to put this down and it's going to make a little bit of a squawk while I adjust it. I apologize. Okay. So this is my finished card here that I just showed you. I'm going to put it up where the light's not so glaring. Sorry, my readers are in the way. Okay. And then I used green, a green card this time around. And my, so you're going to need a green card, which is put the measurements for everything on the back so I could read it as I go. So the card measures five and a half across, five and a half inches across and four and a fourth inches. It was the already pre-made card. You can get these pre-made cards in any craft store usually. And then my mat here that I punched the corners with like a corner punch just to give it a softer edge. This measures five and a fourth inches by three and seven eighths inches. And I will link all these measurements and supplies and crafty links in my description for you. So you're just gonna wanna center that onto the card. Okay, and I'm gonna use my art glitter glue. Hopefully I didn't clog it up. Seems like every video I clog up my, just gonna put that card over to the side plug up my glue and you don't need a lot I love this glue because it really works well with paper and dries fast so I'm just going to turn this around so that I can see it in my perspective so that I get it nice and centered for you I have this thing with, I have this thing with straightness and I, no matter how hard I try, I never seem to get things perfectly straight. So, oh, my little Alex and Andy bracelet is making clicky noises. Okay, so then you're going to need, I'm going to set this card aside because this is basically just going to hold your ornament. And another way to hold your ornament would probably be Velcro tape. That would be really secure. Or you could use um, ma magnet stickers. But I'm just gonna use what people normally have on hand. Like, uh, I mean, normally everyone has like some type of non-stick backing that their stickers or adhesives came on. So and I punched a one and a half inch circle from that material. So, but that's just an idea that you could use and it would look really neat to just have a magnet on the back of the ornament. They could even put it on their fridge that way. So I'll set that aside because I already punched the circle that I'm going to use. All right, and I'm gonna set the card aside. Oops to keep things out of frame so it's not messy or distracting. So I cut two mats the same size and whatever you want to show in your little fireplace, you can. Um, I was thinking that um, first I was gonna use this, but it's just so the same color that I'm going to use the trees on as my inter um, fire 
fireplace mat and then I will put this as my backing because you're going to want to cover the back just to have a nice neat finished look. All right, so let's put that aside again. Okay, so I'm going to be working. This is the piece I want to show. So I'm going to be working on this, right on this. All right, so you're going to need two side pieces and these measure two and seven eighths by three, three fourths inch. So two inches, two and seven eighths inches by three fourths inch. And those are gonna go right, right on top of, right on top of your inner mat. But you're not gonna attach them yet because you're gonna wanna glue these together you're just using your inner mat as a guide because you're going to want to put foam tape on the back of this before you attach it so you have some dimension between your fireplace and your inner, I don't even know, fireplace insert. <laughs> yeah, your inner fireplace. Okay. So I am going to use, for this bit, to glue this together, I'm using this as a guide. I'm going to use my art glitter glue again. So try not to move it too much. I'm going to do one at a time. You're just going to want it. You're going to want them, you're going to want them lined up because you don't want your your background mat should be sticking out. You could even you could even put them over the edge a little bit so that you don't um, you don't you're sure that you don't or you're not going to have it sticking out. And it, it can always be trimmed. Like if you mess up, you can always trim it. But I'm gonna, oh, so also um, these these bottom. Sorry, I'm not putting my glue on properly here. Oh, I did put it on both sides, man. Getting senile. 48 now, getting a little senile. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna wanna put, um, overlap the edges a little bit, just so that it gives it, it's a little bit different. Yeah, the length of it allows it to overlap. And then my top piece, what I did was I did an upward diagonal cut just to give it kind of a mid-century feel because the paper was kind of vintage and I'm really digging the mid-century lately. I'm thinking about redecorating mid-century because everything will be easy to do and all the same. So yeah, that's definitely my next project around my house. But I'm going to um, put that as my top mantelpiece with a little bit of an interesting edge on it. Now you're not gluing it to the mat yet. Hopefully I was neat and didn't glue it to the mat, but it's okay because I can pull it away. You know what I mean? I just rip stuff away and then put it back down because everything with paper is fixable. You can't fix everything in life, but you can fix paper. That's why I love it so much. So just make sure it's, you know, pretty straight, but. Yeah, it's pretty straight. I mean, if you stress about every little thing, which I probably would if I let myself, nothing would be any fun. So. There's my little fireplace. Isn't it cute? But I need to mention, so now I'm going to add my foam tape all along the back. I'm gonna probably have to get out my other, so I'm just basically going to size it up and make sure that it's pretty much covering the back. I mean, you could piece this out if you wanna save your tape. I really like, <laughs> I'm a military spouse and a stay at home mom. So I am thrifty. I try to not use, I understand conserving product. 
there is my Noah. Mr. Noah is having an interview later for preschool. They're coming to my home to give him a little interview. I think that's kind of neat and convenient. Sorry, I try to work so that it's like your perspective. Oh, I already cut that, didn't I? Okay, so now I need to cut it down this way. So no measurements here on the tape. Anyone who uses foam tape, if you're new to using foam tape, you know, just all that's important is that you get most of your, most of your project covered. And but it's okay if it's not the same. It just don't let your tape show. Like kind of like don't let them see a sweat. Well, don't. My rule for paper, pro paper crafting is don't let them see your glue or your adhesive. That is kind of the rule of thumb. So I've got my my little mantle here pretty much covered. You know, and you can cover it as much or as little as you feel like. And then here's that here's that inner mat. Oh, we're gonna have a screamer. My um my toddler, he is just he is just doing everything that like he's not He's like, I'm not going to eat what you want. I'm not going to sleep when you want me to. So he's not taking naps. He's not taking naps. I try to do my crafting during nap time, but he's not, he's not taking naps. So you see why I'm not on here every day filming videos. I do it as much as I can. I was up literally all night with him. Don't, you know, just different stages they go through. So, sorry, I should have done that closer to the camera, but I laid it right on top of that mat. And see, now I have some dimension in there. So it's not flat. I don't like things flat. That's another kind of rule in paper crafting. Yeah. Excuse me, my toddler is spitting Gatorade. Okay, Noah, that is not nice, especially red Gatorade on a white carpet. trying to do snack time since we can't do nap time. That's okay. I love them. I'll keep them. So now I'm going to, I cut, you want to cut when you, um, when you stamp your images, um, you want to cut about six or seven of these just to make sure you have enough and you're going to line the top. You're going to line all along the top of these. You could even do like, you could even do the, um, the bottom part, it's up, it's up to you. It's, you know, however you like it to look. So these I call little hollyberry branches. I'm not sure what Maymay would call them, but it's part of the Bobbles and Bling set. I only used one stamp from, I, I make a lot of projects with um, the Bobbles and Bling and the stitch shapes. Those are the ones that I design with. And um, so this, I use, I'm using two stamp sets with this project. I'm using the Bobbles and Bling, this branch. And then I am using the Christmas Stitch Shape set. And they're all May May made it. And this I actually made for a project. Pretty proud of this one, you know? That, cause they like, um, it turned out I wanted to make an ornament, but I thought that if it had a dual purpose, like a Christmas card and an ornament, that that might be neat. And so I went with it and it turned out and I'm pretty proud of it. So then you're gonna wanna lay your stockings. Now again, this is from the Christmas stitch set. And everything that I'm gluing on the fireplace, I am not putting foam tape only, I'm only gonna put foam tape 
on the bottom of these stockings so that they can level up with the foam tape that is under this fireplace mantle. So everything is going to, this right here, this little sentiment, sentiment is sending you happiness only Christmas can bring. That's a very sweet sentiment, I think, because Christmas makes a lot of people happy, especially this time of year. You know, I've got the, I've mentioned before in my other videos, I've got that seasonal affective disorder and it just really bums me out. But Christmas and the glowing lights and, you know, that's why I already have my tree up, you know? No shame there. No shame celebrating Jesus' birthday early for me. So I'm just going to kind of lay my stockings diagonal kind of like how I am I don't have a mantle I've always wanted one one day I'll get one I just thought about buying one of those fake ones but for a free floating shelf just to kind of mop one the free floating shelf would look really good with mid century so I probably will eventually do that just want things to be funky something different but um so yeah I'm just kind of laying them how I'd imagine them on a mantle Nothing has to be perfect. If you start stressing things, don't, they're not fun anymore. So then I'm going to just um, wear the stocking um, is going to be hanging. I'm going to level that up with the mat. So these two are kind of, they're kind of already on that, but I think I'll put one in this little corner boot. So wherever you have it hanging and it needs to be leveled up that's what I would where I would put like a little piece of foam tape I'm using my little 3d square dots because I enjoy them so I don't know if I want to glue that down or if I want to kind of leave a shadow I think I'll leave a shadow so this is so simple to do once you get all the measurements like everything really I, just, I like to put my, my assembly part is just fun and easy. It's the designing and all the cutting that's probably the hardest, but it's fun. It's relaxing to me, fussy cutting and designing. It's really relaxing to me playing with paper. I will never be too old to play with paper. And again, this is sitting on an already raised surface and I don't want to overkill like the dimension I mean you could I mean could you ever get too much dimension I don't think so but I'm choosing to whatever is on the already raised surface to leave flat and then everything on the bottom I am raising up so I um I there's a little ledge here that I accidentally I don't know, I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to fix it by trying to lift it because this foam tape works really good. So I am going to fix it so it doesn't show by just trimming it a little bit. See, everything in paper crafting is fixable. So, sorry, I completely started rambling out of frame without you seeing anything. So I'll let you look at this card while I'm cutting away this part that is showing. It's okay if you do this because you can just trim it away and you're going to have a backing on it. So just try to, same thing with your backing, just try not to let it show from the front. All right. Okay. So let's see. There's my um, there's my finished fireplace and mantle. Really easy to do. Just three stockings. The fireplace was just four pieces glued together with foam tape on top of the inner mat. Some holly behind the stockings and a sentiment. And now I am going to need my string, and my string is missing. So I'm gonna need to grab. I had all this stuff, and I, you know what? I think my cat. I'm going to blame the cat because I have this out. He's a sneaky little cat. I had all this prepared for my video and I swear I had two mats and I had a piece of string already cut. 
and my embroidery thread is missing. But I'm gonna need that so I can show you how to glue the string. So I will be right back, I apologize. I'll let you look at the, the two cards while I'm gone. Kitty. He likes to, he sleeps all day. You never see him. And then he plays all night. So I've got a toddler and a cat that keeps me awake. <laughs> it's okay. I'll keep both of them. They're just naughty. Okay. So that, that string is probably adequate. So what I used, um, forgot to mention you're going to need an embroidery thread use a nice quality thread or twine just because it you know it's an ornament so you want it to look nice so I am going to flip this over and then I'm going to put that kind of like that don't want you don't want too much thread because then it'll just be like whoa there's this big long thread on the ornament so think still a little bit long I probably should have measured out the thread too but you can kind of eyeball it so I will tell you what this is this is about what I'm settling on so this is about a six inch thread and then you can kind of just eyeball how you would how much you would want it to stick out it's not a lot um, it's just enough adequate for hanging is what you're gonna want to do so then I've got my my outer mat just to finish off that back because it's nice to finish things off you really um, you really could just tape uh, put a hole or, or and run a string or tape a string on but you know if you are like most paper crafters you want to finish things off and it, it makes the string secure too. Basically that's, it's for looks and it's to make that, some place to put your string. Ooh. Sorry, terrible, <laughs> not terrible. I should not ever say terrible. It's not the terrible threes. He's the blessing. He is a blessing. Every child is a blessing from God blessing from God and you just pray every day to make it through those toddler years. <laughs> My sweet baby. He's into not sleeping, not eating. Well, he eats, but he just wants to eat cookies. He doesn't want to eat like healthy stuff. The stuff I want him to, but he does eat broccoli. That's good. And spitting. He is into, he's into spitting right now. That is very frustrating for a mom who's Okay, so I did really good with the mat because it's not exposed on the other side. So look at there, look at, look at, there's my ornament. Oh, I just realized I have a stocking the same as the inner mat. Is that a problem? It kind of does blend in. I didn't even, that's why I had the, that's why I had the ornaments, but that's okay because that is so easy like if I don't like that like if I choose if I choose to change that I so could I could just do that I think I will I mean I kind of like it but I think it blends in too much now that I'm looking at it and I have this bare stocking here so but the hole so sorry about that in my last video it cut out because I ran out of space Oops. And I also noticed that the two stockings were the same pattern. So, silly me, I decided to go with a striped just to make it, it different and more appealing so it didn't just blend into the background, the inner fireplace. Okay, so now I am going to show you how I attached my project. I'm just going to stick um, a piece of 
it's about a one by one inch square so and then I am going so that is the sticky foam it's sticky and then I am going to glue this came from the back of the scrapbook adhesives foam squares I just like I said I just punched a circle and then I add that to the back of my and you can use if you know you want to use velcro or a magnet like I said if that works better for you you can do that and then I'm just gonna um, turn this around and center it to my card Right. and there it is there is a finished ornament card that can be taken off and your recipient can hang it on their tree I'm thinking about doing another one maybe more than one but I'm thinking about it something in mind so you will probably see another ornament card card soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Gave you some ideas. And you could just make you could just make the ornament if you didn't want to make the card, but if you wanted to kind of send it in a nice way and just put a small a small sticky note that the the ornament on the front of the card comes off to hang. And also they could just hang the, um, I may have already said this, but they could also just hang the card having a string already there. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Michelle, and always appreciate your likes and your follows. And if you have any questions or comments, I love to hear them. I'm pretty good about getting back to you promptly. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day and happy holidays. Michelle.